Hello, Course 3 class, and welcome to this video talking about the surface area of cones. Uh, so we're going to start by looking at the formula for the surface area of a cone, which is capital B plus 1 half PL. So just like we saw with prisms, the capital B stands for the area of the base. And for a cone, the area of the base is always a circle. So the area of the base is always going to be pi r squared. P is the perimeter of the base. And since it's a circle, the perimeter of the base is always going to be the circumference. So that is going to be 2 pi r. And L, this is where things get a little different. L is the slanted height or the slant height of the cone. So that is L. <clears throat> that is different from the height of the cone, which goes from the center of the base up to this point up here called the apex. I know you looked at pyramids last year, but that's like, I mean, 10 years ago, real time. So I can understand if you forgot all of that stuff and that's okay. Um, but maybe you see a relationship between the height H the radius r and the slant height l they form a right triangle so you might think the pythagorean theorem might come into play here and you'd be right so just to uh summarize our surface area is going to be pi r squared the area of the base plus one half times perimeter two pi r times the slant height and to simplify pi r squared plus the one half and the two, they cancel out and we're left with pi r l. And that is our formula for the surface area of a cone, pi r squared plus pi r l. Okay, let's use it in two different ways. <clears throat> okay, for this first problem, we are given a radius of seven and a slant height of 11. So it looks like we have everything we need. I'm gonna start by writing out the formula pi r squared plus pi r l. I'm going to list what we know. We know the radius is 7. We know my slant height is 11. So we have everything. My surface area is going to be pi times 7 squared plus pi times 7 times 11. So I get 49 pi plus 77 pi and now I can combine like terms, just like we did with the cylinders today. Uh, 49 pi plus 77 pi is a total of 126 pi. Now that answer is in exact form. If I wanted to, I could go to a calculator and use the pi button on my calculator to get a rounded answer of 395.8. So 395.8 in the units, it's not feet, it's not feet cubed, it's area, so it's feet squared, 398, 395.8 feet squared. Okay, there's one more kind of problem I want to show you, and that's one where we're not given the slant height. <clears throat> Here, instead, we are given 12 feet as the distance from the center of the base to the apex. That is the height of the cone. That is different from the slant height of the cone. So how are we going to find the slant height? If we know the radius and the height, we will of course use the Pythagorean theorem. <clears throat> so first, before we write anything out about surface area, let's find our slant height. 9 squared plus 12 squared is equal to L squared. So 81 plus 144 is equal to L squared, or 225 is equal to L squared square root square root, and L is 15. Okay, so I have a slant height of 15 inches. Great, now I have everything my, I need to find the surface area. My surface area is pi r squared plus pi r L. My radius is nine. My slant height is 15. So my surface area is pi times 9 squared 
plus pi times 9 times 15, which gives me 81 pi plus 135 pi for a total of 216 pi. And if I want to round that, I'll do 216 times, press the pi button, and I got 678.6, 678.6 inches squared. Okay, so we saw two kinds of problems. One where we're given radius and slant height, and one here where we had to use the Pythagorean theorem to find the slant height because all we had was the height. <clears throat> but there you go. That's how you find the surface area of a cone.